4 investigates. He's a wealthy developer asking lawmakers for 50 million in state tax credits to redevelop North St. Louis. For now, the plan is stalled in Jefferson City, but life goes on in the neighborhood where Paul McKee owns lots of property. A woman emailed me about this one, saying it's downright dangerous and needs to go, and that neither the developer or the city seem to be in a hurry to get rid of this hazardous eyesore. So we're getting involved. This is terrible. Latanya Harsley has to look at this crumbling mess every time she drives down her block. According to building records, it was constructed in 1907 as Price Funeral Home, but its most recent owner is listed as Northside Regeneration, the group run by Paul McKee. If it is the McKee guy, surely he's got the resources to get someone out here to do this right away. It shouldn't take months. A demolition permit was applied for in June of last year. Harsley called the city to find out what's taking so long. They said that the supervisor was out till March. They maybe can get it down by July. Uh, and it's but, February. And it's February. <laughs> She's worried about the risk this poses to neighborhood children. Not to mention, it's now become a dumping ground filled with tires, furniture, and other things that shouldn't be here. What is this? <laughs> So really, what is that? So I called Fifth Ward Alder person Tamika Hubbard. So we're just trying to see if she's aware of this and if there's any action that could be taken. I never got a call back. The city's building division tells News 4 the demolition permit is still pending approval, Parcels. but Paul McKee says so that's not the hang-up. He says he's together. giving a preservation group time to fundraise to save the structure. The preservation group says only the facade can be salvaged, but they haven't been given the green light to fundraise. Latanya just wants it gone. This is unacceptable. You wouldn't have this out in any county for this amount of time. It's going on almost two years. So she's demanding action. We'll let you know what happened.